Hi everyone and welcome back to our second game of this matchup, Broski vs Fran Norden for round 3 of the April Warner Tournament. This time Broski once again playing as the 5th Panzer Division in red on the left of your screen and on the right of your screen we have Fran Norden who has switched to the 79th Tank Division. A rather unexpected matchup if ever I saw one. I did not expect someone to go 79th Tank at the moment, they're one of the weaker decks in my opinion and certain other top tier players would agree I'm certain. So straight away we have Broski who's gone for a command vehicle in that point at the back getting an early lead in points no command vehicles on the other side up at the top we've got a few units for both players nothing exciting a little bit of combat going on in the middle we already have a mortar out again for Broski both these players using mortars reasonably effectively in the last game Broski using them very effectively for smoking units which isn't something we see very often down here a much more held back position for Fran Norden shall we say not quite that aggressive push we saw last time and certainly a few more defensive units for Broski up at the top we seem to have more for Fran Norden more spread out units some anti-air units there as well small transport truck just being destroyed there as it was trying to get across i assume by that leopard 2a3 which has been called out pretty early small grouping of units in the center here for friend norden as well over on the other side a much sparser field for broski he has his leopard 2a3 at the back there a jeopard and some arm busts, Jaeger, another Jaeger squad, and some piney arm busts at the bottom as well. But not a huge amount. Seems to have gone for a slightly more defensive posture at the bottom this time. A few more units than he originally started with in the first game. Where I feel like Fran Norden is pulling back a bit. Certainly a few defensive units here. Two commands in for Fran Norden now. Who will start getting the bonus from that very shortly. Whereas on the other side... We've seen just the one from Broski. I'm sure he'll be bringing another one in soon enough. A couple of tanks coming in there. Another Leopard 2A3. Uh, two Leopard 2A3s. That's an expensive purchase early on. I'm assuming we're going to see some kind of push with those. Here, those Jaeger Avkul moving up to these buildings. Knowing that the enemy, Fran Norton, didn't actually get his units in there because that truck was destroyed. So those Jaeger Alfco coming under quite a lot of fire. They have made it to the building though. Leopard 2A3 being used to potentially provide some fire support in this area. Though it is getting very close to the enemy lines there. Has made its way into those tree lines but it can be seen it is firing and it will take shots from those missiles it does not want to be turning its back or side to those missiles again broski using smoke very effectively not quite far enough up to cover the leopard at the moment but does allow for the leopard to be pulled back into it of course leopard very effective has taken out both of those transport vehicles the bmps Otherwise, at the moment, not a lot of movement on the map. Down here at the bottom, we're just seeing defensive positioning from both players. Again, not seeing any command vehicles coming in yet. We are seeing yet another Leopard 2A3. That is four Leopard 2A3s on the field already in this game. Coming up against two T-80 BVs, by the looks of it, from Fran Norden. No other tanks that I can see for Fran Norden at the moment. He is the 79th tank, so he will have some very good tanks. Probably the T-80U as well as the BV. Leopard just sitting itself. Not quite in the smoke there. Neither player with a lot of movement. As I say, these games a little bit more thought out the way these guys play. Plenty of anti-air coming forward there. Another mortar coming in. Just reinforcing that smoke point. He's been quite ballsy with that Leopard 2A3. I know he's got spare ones at the back, but it's still quite a costly unit to lose. That Radvedska was preparing to fire. Oh, two T-80 BVs getting shots on that Leopard. Oh, that Leopard is very lucky. Minimal damage. 
Just, just must have caught it with one and the other missile missed. Out of range now. Smoking to cut off that push by the T-80BVs. Pioneer Ambus visible, I assume, by those Red Vedska, which aren't that close, but obviously close enough. Leopard 2 here 3 coming to reinforce that point there. Ah, command vehicles. One command vehicle there, and command tank coming in as well. I wonder if... I would assume one of them is going to come down to this lower point. Yes, the Iltis looks like it is going to come down to the bottom now. No, it's going to the centre. That Leopard 2A3, I'm not sure where that's going. That's another Leopard 2A3 at the bottom here. Broski going for defensive positioning with some of these tanks. Not a bad manoeuvre. No command vehicle coming in for the centre yet from Fran Norton. Two more T-80 BVs coming in. This time... Apparently going down to the bottom. Good choice to put two, two air threes down at the bottom for Broski then. Hmm. Now, interestingly, compared to the last game, we're not seeing much aircraft at all. Certainly not seeing those Alpha Jets come out for Broski on this occasion. Good use of supply straight away, getting those tanks repaired. Or the tank, I should say. Uh, smoke being deployed by Broski at the front here. Those Leopard 2 A3s just poking out to do a little bit of damage. Cluster Bomber coming in. Is it going to get... Interesting. Very interesting. Cluster Bomber did not go for the big tanks. I honestly expected that to go for the big tanks. It went for the little vehicle instead. The command vehicle. Unfortunately, not super effective because Broski had that command leopard in as well. And a second command leopard coming in for the bottom point. Broski's double command. Very efficient in the center. I must admit, I am surprised by that. But, uh, yeah, destroyed the one in that corner, but as far as Fran Norton is concerned, it's still there. Because the point remained in Broski's control. That's really interesting. What an, what an interesting idea. I'll, I'll have to remember that one. Certainly throw someone off thinking that they've still got a command in that corner, and we'll try and use other artillery or bombers to kill it, even though there's one elsewhere. No real movement from either player at the moment. Again, just a build-up of forces. As I said, in the last game, these two players much more defensive in their posturing. And last time, though, Fran Norden was quite aggressive at the bottom of the map. Has pulled back to that defensive posture for this game. Leopard 2 a 3s on the move again up here. Now, Broski doesn't really have any recon down here. Obviously something in that building there. But I doubt very much that he can see any units here. Equally, I suspect Fran Norden can't see any units of uh, Broski's in that forest. What have we got coming in here? Motorstalky in BMPs and more Motorstalky BMPs in the middle there. We have a T-80 UK command tank coming in. That will be to neutralise the centre. Points wise, it's about even right now. Broski just pushing ahead because of the control of the centre. Broski dropping some mortars. Unfortunately, the spread in the mortars is pretty big in the game right now. But he's trying to just get a few shots on those infantry in there. Yeah, you're coming in at the top for Broski. Another Leopard command tank. Very interesting. I assume for the centre again, and I assume to come down this end? That's really strange to me. Over this side. 
not a lot happening. That command tag has arrived. It's a quiet period. It's a quiet period. Sorry, I just realized I forgot to hide my little panel. Let's take a moment to appreciate the map and how detailed it is when you zoom in on these buildings. Look at how detailed these little bits are. The farm equipment and stuff. Bin. The little trucks and things. Pallets. Someone's gone to an awful lot of trouble to create all of these little objects. And they all look so detailed. Let's have a look over here. Supermarket. At least an advert for a supermarket. Well, that doesn't look much like a supermarket, does it? It looks like some kind of office building. And some kind of... I don't know. It's kind of workshop or something, or garage. I'm hearing a little bit of fighting, but it's nothing too exciting. It's just some mortars striking this area again. Not doing a huge amount of those mortar strelki. Cohesion remains high. We've got a couple of shots on those guys there and taken some out. You need a lot more mortars if you're going to do a significant amount of damage to infantry in an area. Okay. Some kind of manoeuvre coming up for Broski here. He has smoked again. Using an empty vehicle. Very wise use of an empty vehicle there. Unfortunately, hit immediately by the tanks at that side. He needs to be careful with these leopards. Leopards immediately taking a lot of fire. Missiles coming in. Three T-80 BVs firing at it. Took a bit of damage, just pulled back. They're switching to the next one along. That one there. Oh, they missed. Did they do some damage to that one? They did a lot of damage to that one. Oh, and there's a cluster bomber as well. Oh, he lost one Leopard 2A3. Very clever, though. He pushed up the command tank with him to increase their rank. It's a good choice. And continues to use smoke very effectively. Unfortunately, that was a nasty loss of one tank there. But equally, in all of that mayhem, a T-80 BV is also dead. What a lovely destroyed model. Interesting. Oh, hello. What about this here? We have Broski with an armburst around the back. Was this going to be an attempt to get into this point and kill the command vehicle? Very unexpected. Very around the back. Obviously going to be dead. But uh, good effort. Broski with the Alouette 2 around the side there. Just covering in case of any attempts by Fran Norton to get around the back. Clearly a lot of the fighting in this game is going to be happening up at the top here. Now, Broski had two tanks down here. Where did they go? Did he lose them? I'm a little bit confused. Is there a dead tank model in that fire? Doesn't look like it. Has he moved them all up here to reinforce? Still just the three Leopard 203s. I'm not sure. There were a couple of tanks down there, but they're gone now. Two more Leopard 203s coming in. Now, what I will note is these Leopard 203s are rank one, if you want, in terms of their veterancy, uh, which isn't great. I mean, that's probably why he's using the command tank to boost them to a veterancy rank of two here. T-80 BVs from Fran Norton ranked all the way up to elite, basically. With the three veterancy there. HE bomber coming in. Is the F4F again, which will drop short. I'm wondering where he's going to hit with this. Very nice. 
very very nice seed plane coming over as well though didn't hit anything I don't think there's anything there for it to hit to be fair it's just strellas and things but good use of that bomber did do some damage there motor key cohesion low smoking again from broski immediate response from Fran Norden with the automatic launch of those missiles didn't manage to get a hit on either of those tanks they missed tank has deployed its own smoke broski gonna launch some more smoke to try and fill in this gap we've got a full full-on push coming here by the looks of it from broski tanks and infantry really good maneuver here you've got this whole area blocked off oh there's that he bomber coming in rather than a cluster do we have a cluster yes there is a cluster coming in as well broski needs to keep those tanks moving keep them separated oh he lost the command and a bunch of stuff behind oh that's such a shame he needs to move that command up quickly to retake that that's really unfortunate Well defended by Fran Norden. Okay, good. Fantastic. Broski sensibly smoking, getting more smoke in the way of the T-80s, allowing those Leopards to push further forward. There are uh, one, two, three, four, five Leopard 2A3s here now. And some Leopard 1A5s pushing around the back there. Yep, there we go. Both those tanks dead. Those Leopard 2 3 is getting up close and personal. There's just the command tank in there. Motor Stroke BMPs coming in. A couple more T-80 BVs. But Broski has the advantage here. Please, Broski, push your advantage. Do what you didn't do the last game. I'm getting excited because I really wanted Broski to just push. Not that I have anything at all against Fran Norden. But it was just the amount of stuff that was there. I wanted to see... Broski utilize it. Loads of Jaegers coming in. A Leopard 2A3 command tank coming in there. Three Leopard 1A5s there. No, he's pulling back the Leopard 2A3s. Two of them are at full health. I know you want to rearm them, but no, don't pull back. Keep the aggression up. Oh. Some actual artillery brought in now to counter battery the mortars from Broski. Broski doing a select all there, obviously, because he's accidentally grabbed the Iltus as well. Oh, that is such a shame. All these Motostralki here need those Jaeger in quickly. Needs to push up those Leopard 2A3s as well. It's an MI8 recon chopper there. Oh. Please push your tanks up, Broski. Please. You've got so much firepower. Support your infantry. Support your infantry. So many tanks. So much firepower. And right now, Fran Norden is getting away with that T-80 UK. That's such a shame. I feel like Broski could have had that T-80 UK. If he'd just kept up that momentum. Oh. Absolutely nothing happening at the bottom of the map. I can be zoomed in a bit more for this and continue just looking at what's going on here. Let's have a look from Broski's side. Can he see anything is the question. Obviously not yet. Spreading out his tanks, good. I think they're actually automatically spreading out, running into cover. There is a... Yeah, you see here, if you select a unit, you can see that they have various commands... And you can set default commands in the options of the game as to what they will do. And you, they will inevitably, as default, I think, try and scatter and find themselves cover. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. You can do this, Broski. Use your tanks. They're all spread out weirdly. Give support to your Jaeger or they're going to get smashed. Oh. Good bombing run. Still a tiny bit short, but good bombing run nonetheless. Push, push, push before those artillery shells hit you. 
HE Bomber coming in there. Taking a lot of fire from the Rolands. Will escape with its life. Leopard 2A3 pushed all the way up with those Jaegers. Get the other Leopard 2 air 3s in there. And the 1 air 5s Get everything in. Go boom. <laughs> I'm pulling them back. It's so sad, Broski. You, you keep having this advantage and then pulling all your units back. I know you can't see what he's got there, but you'll never know if you don't push. Look at all of your stuff. Get in there. You've got this. I'm getting very emotional about this game. That T-80 UK is engaging. Come on, shoot it. Yes. Yes! Thank you, Lemon 2 and 3s. I'm sorry, Fran, if it seems like I'm rooting for Broski here. It's just I really want to see him push his ability with, you know, with all of these tanks. He has an immense amount of tanks. I mean, they're all clustered together, Fran. If you if you had had uh, cluster bombers here, he'd be in serious trouble. But look at all this. You got uh, T eighty PV, T eighty U, T eighty PV, T eighty PV, all prepped and ready. But right now, we're seeing advantage slowly going in Brosi's favour because he has control of this point. Here we go. Cluster bomber coming in. Cotter gets some kills, surely. Oh, that was devastating. Was that at least two tanks? Still got one, two, three, four, two or threes on the field, though. Just kill whatever vehicle that was there. Taking shots now from four separate T-80s. That Leopard 2 or 3 dead. Oh, T-80 dead. These need to pull back and repair and rearm. Dang. He, I think he lost two... Two two air threes there. Oh, and another one. Oh. We'll kill that T-80 though. But that's three two air threes lost. Plus the one I think he lost to that uh, jet. T-80U and T-80BV still alive there. Broski obviously pushing up his front line very sensibly. Sort of encircling this area here, at least at the top and this side. Needs to make sure the other tanks are repaired before doing any more pushes. Question is, yeah, there is another Leopard 2A3 coming in and a bunch of Leopard 1A5s. Broski needs to keep the pressure on. Can't let Fran Norden bring in enough reinforcements to secure this side again. And we can see loads of Motostralki coming in from Fran Norden now. Needs to get back in that forest area and he knows it. Broski's moving his tanks away from that area, pushing them down here. It's not the ideal situation. Could still do with having tanks here to fire at incoming infantry and stuff. It's tense. Broski's ahead in points. He just needs to hold this now. And stop Fran Norden getting any more command vehicles in there. And Fran Norden isn't calling any in yet. Knows that he needs to resecure this area. Broski making an effort to secure the entirety of this point now. Pushing forward with Leopard support on these units down here. Calling in another Leopard 2A3. Those Leopard 1A5s coming in hopefully will provide support to these units down here. Artillery pieces still getting the odd shot off. 
trying to suppress the Jaegers. Good use of supplies for Broski. Keeps repairing and rearming his tanks. Oh wow. Fran Norden has deployed his forces in a back point. I honestly expected him to try and charge up here. Is that Fran Norden giving up on trying to take the center? I'm not entirely sure what Fran Norden's plan is now. That was unexpected. I thought he was going to get them up here. Yep, Leopards come down as expected. Pushing towards the rest of these infantry. Along with Jaeger, Alfkull. The Jaeger's pulling back because of the incoming artillery fire. Pretty accurate that close, that artillery. Nothing happened for the entire game down the bottom. Considering the last game, it was all fighting at the bottom. Completely the opposite this time. Excellent. Recon coming in at the top there for Broski. Interestingly, some Mutstralki still stood in that destroyed building. And it is the strangest thing in Warno that infantry and destroyed buildings, as we've noticed before, are almost invisible. Good use of those leopards, supporting the other troops. Fran Norden pulling back a defensive line. But this will be game to Broski. A hard fought victory. He's lost a lot of Leopard 2A3s in this fight. But has managed to kill quite a few T80s. And eventually managed to remember to push that advantage. And take the top of this point. And then has continued pushing and taking the bottom of the point. So well done, Broski. You got there in the end. I just wish you'd done it in the last game. Good harassment from Fran Norden now. Plenty of tanks coming in. But these units sat back here aren't going to be helping pushing the front line. So, still plus three points to Broski. And this will be a win for Broski if Fran Norden doesn't push. Possible that Fran Norden might try to push at the bottom here, where we're sort of looking right now there is a buildup of forces there quite a few tanks these tanks going up here though Jaeger Alphacol were poking their heads out I've regretted that getting shot at by everything from all sides oof kind of feel sorry for them look at all that incoming fire yeah they didn't survive long no surprise there What is the plan here, Fran? Can you push back in? You probably have the forces to do it. But whether you have the forces in the right position is a different matter entirely. I feel like if you went for a push down at the bottom here and had moved all of these infantry there, you could probably get into this forest and kill these tanks. I think you might struggle up here because of those Leopard 203s. But the Leopards, or the Leopard 105s, are in a forest. They're susceptible to infantry. Although it does look like two Leopard 203s are also coming to reinforce them now. It's really difficult. Broski's got himself in a very good position with a lot of tanks. What is that firing at? Oh wow, the firing at the Mortestrelki have moved into a building and being engaged by the Jaeger Alfkull and have been killed. Oh. Ten minutes of this game left. Fran needs to do something. And needs to do it fast. Otherwise, Broski has won this game. Artillery trying to soften up anything that is in that forest. Unfortunately, not hitting anything at the moment. Oh, 
Oh, chopper got a bit too close for comfort. Two T-80Us coming in. There are a lot of T-80s on the field now as well. There are a lot of Leopards and there are a lot of T-80s. But Fran Norton needs to put these to use or it's going to be a points win in not too long a time. Panzer Grenadier is moving down there for Broski as well. I mean, Broski could just hold this now. He doesn't need to be aggressive in any way, shape, or form. He just needs to hold. Moving those Leopard 105s back, not a bad idea. Makes him less susceptible. Has replaced them basically with Grenadiers. Down to the bottom of the map, no movement at all still. There's a few more Stralki in the middle and some BMPs, but... This is not going to be enough. Prans are getting a spreading out a bit in that forest area. Another command tank coming in. Some Jeopards. I think this is going to Br Broski. I cannot see Fran Norden managing to pull this back now. Some kind of jet coming in for Fran Norden, like you see on the minimap there. HE bomber. I assume going for this building here. No, nope, going for the edge of that forest. No read effect, the Jaeger are already pulling back. Oh, Fran. You've got so many units there. If only you'd focused them in one area and pushed. I mean, the risk is that obviously Broski pushes on this point at the back here, Charlie, but at the same time it would have been great if Fran had managed to pull units down here and push in here. I feel like getting across this open field would be difficult now as long as Broski was being sensible with the leopards. But you could probably have made it up here where there's a lot of forests with your infantry and then supported them with all the T-80s coming up this road. And you might have just been out the range of the Leopard 203s at that side there. But this is game to Broski by the looks of it. Very well played to both players. So disappointed that Fran didn't manage to do another pushback at the end there. That would have really uh, been the icing on the cake for these two games if Fran Norden had managed to push in and pull the game back right at the end. That is a real shame. Well played to both players. It's been a really good tournament so far. You guys have played well. Everyone in the tournament has been playing really well. It's a shame that I think we've lost a couple of players as we go into the fourth round um, due to real life commitments. And it is, you know, it's a long tournament covering an entire month. So, you know, you will eventually lose the odd player to other things coming up. That's life. But looking forward to seeing what we get in week four and then what we get in week five because week five will be on the new map it will be on black forest i believe so that will be a very big change we'll see some very different strategies for week five because it'll be a brand new map with completely different ideas instead of these maps which have sort of been a bit of rinse repeat from the first few tournaments we've had A little bit of a push manoeuvre coming here perhaps to Fran Norden, but too little too late. 1997 to 2000 and that is game. Really well played to both players. Once again, I have to point out the difference in kills and losses here. Broski with 4,700 kills. I mean, leaps and bounds ahead of Fran Norden I'm afraid. Sorry Fran. Broski has just done an amazing job in these games of keeping up the killing potential of his units. And it's such a shame that within that wasn't as potentially aggressive as he could have been. But uh, that's something for Broski to look at and take away. And equally to Fran Norden at the end of that game there, if only you had focused at one side of that point, you probably could have plowed back into it. But again, something both players will be looking at in their replays. 
quick look at what did well in this game. Leopard 2 Air 3s, as always, the F4F did a pretty good job. And again, Leopard 2 Air 3s getting so many kills. And on the other side, not quite as much. T80s got a few kills. But uh, yeah, it was definitely heavy kills in Broski's favour that game. Well played to both players. Tune in in the coming week for the round four games. Back on two ways. And then we'll be heading into round five on the new map, Black Forest. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you all soon.